Unlike public weather forecasts that give the air temperature, typically 1.5 metres above the ground, gritters and winter maintenance companies need to know what the minimum surface temperature of the road will be. Let's take a look at some of the factors that influence this. The road surface temperature, or RST, and the temperature of the air, grass or car windscreens, can be different even in the same location. This is because they have different physical properties and different specific heat capacities. The specific heat capacity is the amount of energy required to change the temperature of one kilogram of substance by one degree Celsius. This has a large effect on the temperature of a surface and how quickly it can warm up or cool down. For example, grass can lose heat quicker than a road surface. The road surface temperature is affected by a number of other factors, such as the depth temperature, cloud cover, length of night and shadows. These can vary throughout the winter season and all make a difference to whether the RST will remain above freezing or fall below freezing. Let's take a further look at the depth temperature. During the day, heat is stored in the ground at depth. This heat is then released overnight. In summer, more heat is stored in the day than lost overnight, so a reservoir of heat builds up. The ground acts a bit like a storage heater, with heat slowly building up throughout summer and released then slowly throughout winter. This can sometimes make the difference between road surface temperatures staying above or just going below freezing. Cloud cover can also influence the RST. If it's cloudy overnight, heat released from the ground and radiated up towards the clouds is then re-radiated back down from the clouds to the ground. This keeps the ground and road surfaces warmer than might be expected. If there is no cloud, temperatures will often quickly drop. Let's take a look at a couple of typical cold weather scenarios, starting with late autumn. In the early season, for example October, the nights are shorter and days are longer so there is less time for the ground to lose heat. Also, the depth temperatures are usually high due to the warmth absorbed by the ground in the summer. Other factors, such as friction from car tyres on the road, may also influence the RST. Therefore, RSTs won't drop as much as the air or grass temperatures. The air temperature can drop below freezing, but the RST is less likely to go below freezing at this time of year. This is why you may see frost forming on car windscreens or grass verges, but it may not form on the road, which could be many degrees warmer. In mid-season, for example in January, the road surface temperature is much more likely to be cooler than the air temperature and be below freezing. Longer nights mean more heat is lost from the ground than earlier in the season, particularly if the sky is clear. As it is later in the season, the depth temperature is also lower as the reserve of heat is no longer there. So the RST falls further and quicker than the air temperature. By midwinter, the angle of incidence of the sun is also a factor. As the sun is at a lower angle in the sky, its rays are spread over a larger area and are less efficient at heating surfaces. This also means buildings, trees and ridges can cast large shadows, reducing the hours of direct sunlight compared to earlier or later in the season. Surfaces in shadow will remain cool throughout the day and may remain below zero. These are just two examples of what can happen. You could easily get similar conditions, but very different temperatures due to subtle changes in the weather. It's a complex exercise trying to accurately predict the road surface temperatures, and it can be misleading to use the air temperature to infer the RSTs. The relationship between the two can change day by day. That's why here at the Met Office we use sophisticated road surface temperature models and our team of expert meteorologists to forecast them. We use these RSTs in forecasts specific to the highways, gritting and the winter maintenance industries. To find out more about OpenSight or the underlying science, please visit our website or contact us via email.